Thousands of people from across the metro made the most of this top 10 weather day, soaking up the sun while soaking in some sights as well. Paint it, frame it, it's a picture perfect day the only, that only an artist could dream up. And Adam Duxter visited Loring Park, where artists and art lovers tried to bottle up some of the magic. Regardless of how you say it, at least you're not sweating it. You know, it's great to actually be able to be outside and not feel like you're dying of heat exhaustion. Each piece of art. I love the colors and the style. A celebration of beauty. It just celebrates people that have done positive things for the world. And a beautiful day. Well, it's great for everybody. We, we rely on the crowds, so if it's really awful weather, then the crowds don't show and then we don't, we don't sell. Loring Park picturesque for vendors like Corrine Johnson. This is one of my favorite festivals in, Min in Minneapolis, you know, because of the, because it's just so easy to get around. And, you know, you're on the grass, you have the lakes over there, but, you, you, but you're surrounded by the city. Organizers say between the 140 artists, the music, and the food, they couldn't have crafted it any better if they tried. The location is incredible, the, the lake and the, all the architecture around. It's beautiful surroundings. Minneapolis is a great city. Adam Duxter, WCCO News. The free festival now in its 23rd year continues tomorrow at 10 a.m.